So we are recording. Um, if you would just say how old you are and what sports you play. Um, I'm 17 and I play football and baseball. Okay, and what were your initial symptoms just prior to, to us working together? Um, I would start to run. I would feel this tightness in my chest. It would work its way up to my throat. Um, it would be harder for me to get air in. And um, as time went on, as I would keep running, um, it would become to the point where you'd hear uh, strider uh, as I was breathing. Um, it would sometimes fill my ears. I'd be very fatigued. I'd sometimes feel like if the running was uh, for too long or too weary, I would feel like I would have to almost pass out because of um, how much or how the lack of oxygen was getting to me. Okay. And did you also feel any numbness or tingling or any heaviness in your legs? Yeah, I would, um, I would feel like I would be lighting weights on my legs. Uh, the, um, the tips of my fingers would be tingling sometimes if it was very bad. Um, and it's just things that would happen every time that I'd run and I just came used to it and thought it was just, oh, it's just what I have to deal with. Okay. And so we've worked together and it's all been through this telepractice. Yes. Um, this has all been going on during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I've stayed in the comfort of my house. Um, and all we've done was call every so often, every almost every day. Um, we do these set exercises from something as little as running to uh, something that I do in an actual practice um, to where it's almost, uh, I got the comfort of my ho own home, but also the knowledge of how to breathe better. Okay. Can you go through what some of the uh, practical uh, skills that we did for you for uh, like football, baseball, what kinds of things we had you do? Mm-hmm. Um, let's start with uh, baseball. Um, we started by going through my swing motion. Um, usually when I would swing, I'd hold my breath all the way through my swing as the ball was delivered towards me. I'd take my stride, I'd lock up everything, I'd take a hold, swing, and then just start running. Um, uh, after we figured out that um, what I should be doing is taking a steady breath out as I swing through the ball, which um, gets me prepared to run in the next coming seconds. Um, also, the same applies for the pitching motion. Um, I'm a pitcher, uh, so when I come set, it's just an easy, relaxed breathing um, through my nose um, and nothing too more of that. I would step back, deliver to the plate, and as soon as I'd be pushing off that back leg, exerting as much force as I could during the whole pitching motion, um, it would be an exhale through my nose as I deliver the pitch to the plate. Um, next would be football. Um, I am a uh, free safety wide receiver in football. Um, I mostly played free safety. And some of the drills that we did were um, one-on-ones where I'd be guarding somebody, they'd run at me, I'd hip turn one direction or the other. Um, what I was doing was uh, I was breathing pretty well on the back pedal, but as soon as I would hip turn, I'd take that big breath hold like I did before um, for saying baseball um, and just kind of run with them, just kind of very short, um, explosive breaths that would mimic my uh, feet motion um, when I'm turning open. Um, a lot of it was almost tied together. Uh, it's another exhale when I turn open on a big exertion of energy. Um, same applies to running a receiver route. You start on the line there, you take easy breaths. You're not holding your breath on the line. You're not waiting for it to be called and then exhaling or something like that. Um, a lot of it is just that easy exhale as you exert the most energy in that um, drill or uh, play, whatever you're doing.
Um, okay, so then do you feel more confident now? Um, I feel very confident in the ability that uh, I can hit the field um, with as much energy as possible. And I know that I'm not going to uh, perform like I used to in the past, which is um, the mental thinking I had was, I know I have to deal with it, so bring it on. Now it's, I know how to combat it if it happens. Um, I know how, like, I've gotten these skills that um, I've equipped to myself, uh, that I know my triggers, I know if it comes on, how to deal with it, and um, when to deal with it. Okay, well, you have done a fantastic job. And I think you're going to continue to do really, really well. Thank you. Thanks for sharing your story with us. Mm-hmm.